Welcome to Double Portion. Shall we rise to our feet? Let's rise to our feet to pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for tonight. We are grateful to you for the opportunity. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of sunshine. Thank you for the gift of night. Thank you for the gift of water. Thank you for the gift of rainfall. Thank you for the earth that birds. Thank you for the gift of fruits and food. Thank you, thank you for the gift of family. Thank you for the gift of fathers and mothers. Thank you for the gift of brothers and sisters. Thank you for the gift of friends and loved ones. Thank you for gifts of opportunities. We exalt you, O Lord. Be magnified. Thank you for the gift of freedom to worship and to fellowship. Thank you for the gift of this great auditorium. Thank you for a place to gather like this. Thank you for the spreading of the gospel. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift of the Bible. Thank you for the gift of your servants. Thank you for all your anointed vessels. We give you praise, O Lord. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for opening the heavens. And thank you for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Tonight, Lord, I ask, send forth your word into every heart. Because the heavens are open, pour forth your blessings upon your people. Grant us tenderness of heart to receive your word and to believe. To receive your word and to obey. Lord, I hand over to you. Take over my thoughts. Take over my voice. Take over everything you have created. Use everything to say what you want to say. And bless everyone under the sound of my voice. Bless me also as you are blessing your people. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please shake hands with somebody by your left, by your right, and say, thank you for being here. Now, tell the other person, thank you for sitting next to me. God bless you, you may be seated. I want to thank God for the gift of a spiritual father in the person of Pastor E.A. Adeboe. I want to thank God for the gift of a mother, a mother indeed, who seeks for the joy and blessings of others. Mommy Folu Adeboe. I want to thank God for faithful Aaron's and us in the redeemed Christian church of God that are holding up the hand of our daddy. I want to thank God for everybody that has made one thing or the other possible here. The good news I have for you is this. One day we shall appear before Jesus and he will say thank you to you. Mommy, don't worry. The day is very, very near. When Jesus will say thank you for clothing me. Thank you for feeding me. Thank you for attending to me when I was hungry. Thank you for giving me joy when I was sorrowful. 
The world may say whatever they like. But the one who keeps record will never forget your labor of love. Everybody say, thank you for Mami Adeboe. Now, if you don't say it, your, over, your overflow cannot come. Thank you, Mami Adeboe. Thank you for giving joy to many people. Your joy will continue to overflow. Amen. My job tonight is very simple. I've been asked to talk on my cup runs over. I understand that is to prepare you for double portion. So I am just a foreigner to prepare the way. You better listen. If you know you want your double portion tonight, listen with your heart and follow. In Psalm 23 verse 1 to 6, we have a beautiful, beautiful Psalm there. Verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Put your hand on your head. Say, the Lord is anointing my head with oil tonight. And my cup is running over. My cup will run over. This is the night. My cup will run over. Amen. As you have spoken, so shall it be. To run over means that will be it will be full and then overflow. There can be no run over without thankfulness. A thankful Abel gave the first born of his flock and the fattest of his flock in gratitude to God who gave him an inheritance. He didn't know it, how it came about. But an entitled and, un and unthankful Cain gave this thankful offering to God whom he considered as undeserving or unworthy of honorable offering. May you never give God a dishonorable offering. You didn't create the flocks. You woke up and God said you are in charge. You didn't plant the trees. You didn't create the seeds. You woke up and God said you are in charge. Then it is time to honor God. And you bring God a contentable offering. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. But unthankful people never experience overflow. A thankful noir gave of every clean beast a burnt offering to the Lord as soon as he touched down the earth. A thankful David looked at his own house and looked at where the ark of God was saying. He said, no, this is an aberration. He offered to build God a magnificent temple. A thankful Solomon knowing that it was his mother that brought shame to David. Knowing that it was his mother's adultery that led David to bloodshed. When he was put on his father's throne, went to offer a thousand burnt offering and as soon as he did that, there was an overflow for him. Today, your key to overflow for your cup to run over is thanksgiving. 
may you and I be thankful to God. What do you have that you are not given? Do you have a right to sunshine? Do you have a right to sleep and wake up? Convince me that you have a right to be on earth. Tell me that you have a right to be a man and not a monkey. Whatever we are, whatever we have, whatever we can do, is a gift from God. Your brilliance or beauty, your charisma or charm, your strength or talents, they are all gifts from God. And except you are thankful, you cannot continue to ex experience overflow. May you and I be continuously thankful. Remember always your humble beginning. It will help you to appreciate God. When you continue to thank God, it will open gates for you. A truly thankful heart is always humble. A truly thankful heart bubbles with joy. Why not be sincerely thankful to God? People that have a sense of entitlement are always claiming what belongs to them. They are never thankful. Unthankful people are foolish. And they will soon lose what they think they have. Romans chapter 1 verse 21. Romans 1 21. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify God as God. No, were they thankful? They became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they, become, they became fools. Once you drift into unthankfulness, your foolishness continues to mount. May you not become unthankful. Murmurers get destroyed. God brought them out of Egypt. He brought Israel out. And then they got to the Red Sea. And they complained. They spoke against Moses. They spoke against God. They said, you brought us here because there are no graves in Egypt. They were slaves. God set them free. They forgot to be thankful. They should have said, God, thank you for bringing us out. Look at the enemies, they are coming. We know you who brought us out can defend us. They say, why have you brought us here to die? It would have been better for us to remain slaves. May you not be unthankful. Then God opened the Red Sea. They got through. They praised God. But they did not apologize for their stupid talk. They murmured at Mara. They said there was no water. All the water around was bitter. They complained again against Moses. The water we drink. God gave them water again, healed the waters. Then they murmured again for food. And God supplied. They murmured against God and they said, why do you bring us here in this wilderness? There is no good bread to eat. They forgot that they were slaves suffering. They contended with Moses. They almost made Moses to stumble. 
They told Moses, why have you brought us here to perish? They were ready to stone Moses. But God was patient. They tempted the Lord. They said, where is the Lord? They got to the promised land. They saw it. They saw giants. They came back and told Moses, you brought us out to die. We are going back. It was at that point, God said, Moses, I have listened to them these ten times. They said they cannot make it. It's time to go back. They will not enter the land. But Moses pleaded with God. And God said, all right. Though they enter the land, it will be their children. Ask yourself. Ask yourself over and over. Have you been thankful to God? Or you have been full of complaints? Have you been thankful to God? Or you have been full of complaints? As they traveled again, they murmured. Until serpents came out. Do you want God to visit you? Do you want God to bless you? Do you want your cup to run over? Do you want God to anoint you? Do you want to see progress in your future? Do you want unending blessings? Then humble yourself and accept your wrong. Thank you, Jesus. Say with me, Father. Father, be merciful to me. Father, be merciful to me. Go ahead and ask him again. Ask him for his mercy. Say, Father, let my cup run over. Go ahead and pray for yourself.
In Jesus name we pray. If you want your cup to run over tonight, there are things you must do. All murmuring must stop. You must humble yourself and accept whenever you are wrong. You must apologize and make amends. If your cup is going to run over, you must forgive everyone that has caused you pain. And number seven, you must reverse every negative declaration. Those who cannot appreciate what fellow men do for them cannot appreciate what God does for them. Thanksgiving is your master key for your cup to run over. You must humble yourself and accept your wrong. You must stop murmuring and truly repent. You must restitute your ways and apologize. You must reverse all negative declarations. And you must show appreciation for past deeds and goodness. Number six, always make your request known in prayers. Don't be like the murmuring Israel. And number seven, you must forgive everyone that has caused you pain. When Israel kept on complaining at every hardship, like many of us do, over one million of them could not enter the promised land because they were murmurers. They complained and complained until God was tired of them. Those who cannot appreciate what fellow men do for them can never appreciate what God does for them. If somebody says, I am thankful to God and he cannot be thankful to men, he's a liar. Ask yourself, how thankful are you in all that God has been doing? For 10 times, Israel kept on complaining. They forgot how God brought them out of slavery. Are you truly thankful for all that God has done? Or you are like the Israelites, at every junction of a problem, you complain. Whatever you do to a believer like you, you are doing it to Jesus. If you want your cup to run over, then you need to start treating that your brother like you would treat Jesus. Jesus said to Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul said, who are you? Acts chapter 9 verse 3 to 5. He said, I'm Jesus. Lord, Lord, he realized he was doing it to Jesus. Do you know Whatever you are doing to that brother is unto the Lord. Beat up your wife. She is the bride of Jesus. Insult your, your husband. He is the bride of Jesus. Jesus said, whoever receives you, receives me. Insult your pastor. You are insulting Jesus. He who hears you, hear me. And one day, Jesus will come back. And he will say, when I was tattered, you insulted me. You say, Lord, when did I do that? You did it to these ones. You did it to me. Then to others, when I was hungry, you fed me. You say, Lord, when did I do that? You did it to these ones. You did it to me. Your cup cannot run over until you are 
sincerely thankful and you begin to honor your brother sincere gratitude will be followed with sincere giving when people begin to speak evil of their pastors their cops cannot run over But when you start showing love, it's possible that you are showing that love to Jesus. Your cup cannot run over until you learn to be truly thankful to God. When people are angry with God, they take it out on the pastor. When you don't honor God with your tithes, you are only saying, God, you are not responsible for my blessing. You have no share in it. What do you do if a year comes and the rain does not fall and the sun does not shine and your labor does not prosper? What if a day comes and there is no source of income? Your cup cannot run over until you are truly thankful. Tonight, double portion will be released. But only those who are truly thankful will be part of it. You cannot be thankful except you are humble to realize that you are nothing in yourself. You have nothing on your own. You can do nothing on your own. Everything you are, everything you have, Everything you are doing is the grace of God. A man cannot be truly humble without realizing the nothingness of himself. Today, my job is simple to prepare you for the double portion that your cup might run over. And I want to say, The pastor that taught you as a baby Christian, now you have grown more than him. You are even richer than him. When last did you say thank you to him? The uncle that saw you through school, you were living in his house. You are richer than him now. When last did you go to appreciate him? The man that taught you Sunday school, you have risen higher than him now. You are his provincial pastor. When last did you go to thank him? The one that sent you to school when you were jobless, when you were fatherless and homeless, and sheltered you. Now God has made you richer. When was your last thank you visit? You want your cup to run over? Many of us are suffering stagnation because. Of our own thankfulness. My job is simple. Can you stand to your feet? When last did you thank God for sweet oranges? When last did you thank God for the gift of a teacher, a father? A mother. When did you when last did you thank God for the gift of loved ones? Is there somebody in this hall close to you that ever saved you from danger or came to your rescue when you were in trouble? Have you truly been thankful? Look around, not far from you. Is there somebody you can go and say thank you to from all your heart and remind the person? What the person did to you two years ago, five years ago, while you are still alive, while you are happy, where you are, where you are. Look around, look around. I give you one minute to do that. Is there somebody close to you that you can thank? Go to the person and say thank you. Don't do formality. Remember one good thing that somebody did for you. Remember one good thing, one good thing. Something to thank somebody for. 
Remind the person. Ah, hey, I said, tell the person so so thing you did so so time. Thank you for it. Are you sure you are thanking somebody? Mommy Gio, I'm thanking you. Mommy, I'm thanking you. I'm thanking you. I was building my house. You came to visit and you saw me. You said, ah, Joe, you are building house. Ah, and you didn't tell anybody. Mommy, thank you. Mommy, thank you. I cannot forget. <laughs> ah, are you saying thank you? Pastors, some of us came to redeem. We didn't have more than primary seven. But through the grace of God, they redeem. You are a super graduate today. Have you said thank you to God? Ah, God is after you now. I'm pastors. <laughs> there are some of us who, when we joined Redeem, we couldn't read or write. It was in Redeem. Am I right? You have something to thank God for. Go and say thank you to that your Sunday school teacher. That your Sunday school teacher. Go and thank him. Go and thank that man that preached the day you gave your life to Christ. Go and thank him for being available. Daddy Gio, I thank you for coming to fish me out from Sokoto and bringing me to Lagos. If you want to thank God, thank God. If you don't want, you're on your own. There is trouble oh, if you want overflow you must be thankful i know you cannot finish the thanksgiving you are going to write a letter you are going to send a text message you are going to send a gift this christmas it is a thank you gift you are going to give to that brother that pastor that sister that has been a blessing to you Amen. Okay. You continue the thanksgiving after this. Now listen to me. You continue the thanksgiving after this. So listen to me now. One point five million Israelites were unthankful. They left Egypt, but they never got to promised land. That will not be your portion. That will never be your portion. Unthankful people always lose out in the end. God, I thank you. I thank you for redeemed Christian Church of God. God, thank you for Pastor Ie Adeboye. Thank you for keeping him standing and alive. You have used him to bless many of us. God, I thank you. Don't take him away. Keep him strong and healthy. Continue to use him. He has been a source of joy to many of us. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. On behalf of all these people, Daddy, I say thank you for all your fasting and prayer. Always punishing yourself that we may be blessed. On the day Jesus will come, he will say, my son, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. And I am telling you, daddy, the Lord Jesus said, I should tell you that you should not be worried because he has a big thank you package for you. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for coming to die for me.